the majority of countries and their negotiators have certainly shown the will and commitment to keep the momentum going during COP17 and to work towards some clear solutions. On Friday, Christiana Figueri shared with us that there really was good progress on the how of the Kyoto Protocol, which is a really important step or challenge during COP17. But as business, I think our role is really to support our governments in their climate change initiatives. And Nedbank has certainly taken this seriously. We've taken the opportunity during COP to support, facilitate, sponsor and support a number of business engagements and dialogues to really work collectively towards the many solutions we need to address climate change. Nedbank's journey to carbon neutrality has really been a very mindful journey of understanding that it is about reducing your carbon footprint as much as possible first and thereafter only offsetting. So our journey has really been marked by measuring our carbon footprint, understanding what that is, increasing the boundary of what we include in our greenhouse gas inventory, and then working at the same time to reduce that footprint as much as possible. We've done this through reduction targets that are in our employee scorecards and which they measured against, which really does drive the right behaviour. It's been made possible through operational efficiencies which have saved us over the three years, some 37 million. So gradually we have reduced our carbon footprint as much as possible. It was only after we would reduced it as much as possible in any one year that we bought carbon credits on a voluntary basis to offset our carbon footprint. So. Nedbank was the first African institution to become carbon neutral. It's not a compulsory step within the South African context. It is a voluntary initiative, but for Nedbank it was an essential part of our philosophy to manage our own impact first in order to be in a position to work with other stakeholders in terms of changing their behaviour to address climate change. I would say that one of the greatest challenges is as an intermediary between those that have capital and those that need, we have such a wide variety of clients and stakeholders, each with their own unique risk exposure to climate change and exposure to the climate change impacts, that it's been quite challenging really understanding what their different needs are and how as a bank we are able to address those needs. A second challenge is really from a South African perspective in that we need to balance essentially environmental sustainability with socio-economic upliftment. So we simultaneously have to address job creation, poverty alleviation, but also environmental preservation. But I think that the awareness is changing and people understand that those that are most environmentally vulnerable are also the same people most vulnerable from a socio-economic perspective. And that if we address both simultaneously and have the balance right, we certainly have a win-win solution. Well, I think the most significant achievement is one that we've already discussed, that of carbon neutrality. It really is an important step in acknowledging our change that we can make to address climate change. Another important step for us was an investment we made into water restoration or water balance. So Nedbank invested into the removal of alien invasive species in water stressed areas in South Africa, releasing back into the system an amount of water equivalent to what we use in our operations, really minimising our impact from that perspective. Our listing on the Dow Jones World Sustainability Index and our consistent leading performance in South Africa's carbon disclosure project are certainly testament to that. Nedbank is also a very active member of the Corporate Leaders Group and the Corporate Leaders Network for Climate Action. And our CEO, Mike Brown, is extremely involved in that. And I think that's been a very important leadership role we've played as a business in addressing climate change. Our role with our clients is very important to Nedbank, so we have spent a lot of time in terms of creating awareness and educating clients around climate change. We have, for example, what's called a Greening Your Business course, which is a free online business course for small and medium companies to understand what the process is in terms of ensuring the resilience and the sustainability of their companies. We have, for example, what's called our Green Mining Awards, where we acknowledge sustainable responsible and resilient mining operations throughout South Africa. Mining is a key part of South Africa's economy, but as Nedbank we would like that to be done as environmentally responsible as possible. From a product and service perspective, Nedbank has a number of products to help clients also be part of the journey and also uh, 
um, be more sustainable themselves. We have, for example, the Green Affinity product offering, which allows the clients to invest in environmental sustainability projects, such as climate change projects, at no cost to the client. NetBank effectively takes a reduced markup or profit margin and donates that on behalf of clients to climate change projects. And over the last 20 years, we've donated more than 115 million to environmental related projects. We have also, for example, our new green index, and that allows investors to invest in environmentally sustainable companies and in that way ensure very good returns for the investor. We're certainly hoping for the momentum to continue, for some kind of clarity around the Green Climate Fund particularly, around the Technical Advisory Committee, around some form of second commitment to the Kyoto Protocol. We are optimistic that we will have some of those coming out of COP17 and we certainly look forward to the outcomes after Friday.